Good day everyone! Welcome to Bahay Aralan! For this video, we will be differentiating direct object, indirect object, object complement, and object of the preposition. Let us start with the direct object. A direct object is a word that receives the action or the verb in the sentence. It answers the question, what or whom. For example, Mike bought a bicycle. The direct object in the sentence is bicycle. Why? Because it receives the action or the verb which is bought. And it answers the question, what did Mike buy? Right? Another example. Benny called Jade last night. What do you think is the direct object in the sentence? It is Jade. It is the receiver of the action or the verb, which is called. And it answers the question, Whom did Benny call last night? Right? Now let us have the indirect object. An indirect object is a word that receives the direct object. Therefore, in order to have an indirect object in a sentence, there must be a direct object. And an indirect object answers the question, to whom or for whom? Let us have an example. Nina showed Marie the bag. To find the indirect object correctly, we have to look for the verb or action first. And it is, showed. Then let us find the direct object. What did Nina show? The bag. So this is the direct object. And then, let's ask, To whom did Nina show the bag? To Marie. So, Marie is the indirect object in the sentence. Okay? Another example, Homer gave his sister a dull house. Let us find the verb first. It is, Gave. And what did Homer give? A dull house. So, this is the direct object. And to whom did Homer give the doll house? To his sister. Therefore, his sister is the indirect object. Is it understood? Now, let us have the object complement. An object complement is a word or phrase that follows a direct object and describes or renames it. For example, the boss named Grace the new manager. Let us find the direct object first. The direct object in the sentence is Grace. It receives the verb or action which is named. Right? So, the object complement here is the new manager. Why? Because it renames the direct object which is Grace or it tells who Grace is. Okay? Another one. Ben painted the table black. Let's find the direct object in the sentence first. It is table. It tells what Ben painted. And so, the object complement here is black. It describes the direct object which is table. Is it clear? Now let us have the object of the preposition. An object of the preposition is a noun or pronoun that follows a preposition in a sentence. That is why it is called the object of the preposition. Let us have an example. The teddy bear was placed inside the box. Let us find the preposition first. It is inside. And the noun that comes after it is box. So, it is the object of the preposition here. As easy as that. Another one. The event was held at the mall. Let's find the preposition first. It is at. So, the object of the preposition in the sentence is mall. Is it understood? Now, let us have an activity. Identify the function of the underlined word in each sentence. If it is a direct object, indirect object, object complement, or object of the preposition. First one, Katie sent Jeff a pair of shoes. 
Jeff in this sentence is an indirect object. Why? Because it receives the direct object in this sentence, which is pair of shoes. And it answers the question, to whom did Katie send a pair of shoes? Okay, next. Billy handed the trophy to his coach. The answer is... Direct object. Why? Because it receives the action or the verb, which is handed. It answers the question, what did Billy hand to his coach? Next, you can find the toolbox in the storage room. Storage room in the sentence is used as an object of the preposition. Why? As you can see, it comes after the preposition in. Okay, another one. Nikki wrote a story about her childhood. In this sentence, story is a direct object. It receives the verb or the action which is wrote. It answers the question, what did Nikki write? Next, everyone considers Zandro a peacemaker. A peacemaker in this sentence is An object complement. Again, it renames the direct object, which is Zandro. It tells who Zandro is. Okay? Next. The Smiths gave the victim money to help him recover. The word victim in this sentence is used as An indirect object. Why? Because it receives the direct object, which is money. Specifically, it answers the question, to whom did the Smiths give money? Last one. They took a ferry across the river. River here is used as an object of the preposition. As you can notice, it comes after the preposition, across. Is it understood? That said, that would be all for this video. Thank you for watching. Stay safe.